Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this flow, I am going to showcase a use case where I am extracting a data from my published Power BI dashboard, which is a sales dashboard. And I am taking a user input from the user, which is a country name. And with respect to that country name, I would be extracting the data in a CSV file. And later on, we would be attaching that file as an attachment in an email to the user. Let's get started. As you could see, I am already here on make.powerautomate.com and I have chosen a manually trigger flow, which is giving me an input as well from the user side. And later on, we will use this input as a filter option. Let's go into next step and let's search for Power BI. As I search for Power BI, it is giving me a set of activities by clicking our Power BI. If I scroll down, I have an option which says run a query against a data set. I would be clicking over there. And now it is asking me to choose my workspace where I have published my dashboard. So I would be selecting my workspace from here. And now it will be giving me the option to select the data set, which is self dashboard. I have already selected that. Now it is asking me the query. The query which I want to run using this particular activity. I have already my query created in my notepad. I will be just copying it and I will be pasting it into the query text field. As, as you could see, this variable right here comes from the manually trigger a flow activity. So whenever a user runs this flow, it will be asking the user to give it a country name and based upon that country name value, it would be filtering the data. And then later on, what we would do is we would create a CSV table. So to create a CSV file, first we need to create a CSV table. So let's search for CSV. And now, in this particular from section, we need to select from the variable what we are getting from run a query against a data set. So from here, we are getting this first table rows. We will be selecting that. And when I go into advanced options, it is asking me the columns you want to select as automatic or you want to select the custom names. I would like to select the custom names. So let's go there and if you peek into my query, there is customer ID, country, sales, discount. And these are the columns what I am getting from my data set. And I am trying to filter using the country name as it says over here filter. Yeah. And when you go into this particular text field, you could see that I am using a function which is, which is summarizing the columns and these columns are present there which are nothing but your customer id country sales and discount let's select our first column which is customer id and now we have to provide all the values what we are getting from here using the expressions and our expression would be and similarly I am going to give all these columns a column name over here and i will take the values using this item and the column name from the run a query against data set output now i am done creating my csv table and i have already filled up all these fields and all these columns are already set up now it will be taking the output from 
this particular run a query against a data set and it will create a csv table for me which would have customer id country sales and discount columns let's send an email by searching an activity which would be outlook send an email let's search for send an email and i am selecting this outlook activity which says send an email now it is asking me to whom you want to send this email out i am sending this email to myself i am just providing my email id over here and the subject would be power bi extract and just to make it a little dynamic i am going to give it a value of the user search query which would be nothing but what user is providing as a search country name from here all right let's go here let's choose the dynamic content and which would be country name and i am giving it a body now there are a couple more fields which i can actually fill in but i don't want to fill all of those because those fields are not mandatory but right now what is needed for me is i have to attach an attachment which would be a csv file i have already created a csv content from here now what we have to do is i have to give it a name so let's give the file a name which would be power bi extract and again the country name which is a dynamic field i'll be choosing it from here and the extension which would be csv and we need to give the attachments content which would be coming from this activity i will be selecting the dynamic content and from here i will be choosing the output let's save our flow and now as it is saved what we will do is we will test it let's click our test and let's select manually and click our test again so that we can give it a go it is taking a little time signing in into my power bi and office 365 outlook let's click our continue and it is asking me which country name you want to have your data filtered on let's give it a country and i am giving the country which is available there so that we will get the data and i am giving it the country name as algeria and i am running the flow and now i click over done it says your flow ran successfully let's go into my email and let's see whether we got something from our flow or not yes we got something now it says that it has come from my bodavas account and it is saying hi your extract is ready and if you see the subject says power bi extract algeria and we have this csv file over here so friends this is how you can take an extract from your power bi dashboard which is published in a workspace thank you for watching stay tuned like share subscribe